Hey y'all, good morning. It is Miss Kev on stage. Well, it may not be morning when you're looking at this, but it's like 7.30 in the morning here. So, good morning. Uh, welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing another tutorial featuring all black brands. It's kind of going to be the move. I mean, mix and match with some other brands because I have a very specific eye look that I want to do. But, um... I'm going to definitely be implementing more black brands, support black businesses. That's the move. That's what I'm going to be doing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the Angel Veil Primer by NYX. I did buy a new primer from, maybe it was Pat McGrath. I'm actually, I don't actually remember who. Um, that should be coming in soon. I hope I like it. <laughs> I really, really like this Angel Oil Primer. It's very inexpensive. It's like 12 or 15 bucks, something like that. And um, it just does what I need it to do. I don't have to pay or spend a bunch of money on a primer. So that makes me happy, but you know, you gotta be here for the cause. I'm going in with my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Uma Beauty, I think it's called Baby Hairs. Yeah, Baby Hair Pencil in the shade black or brown or black brow six in the shade zero six if you could talk into your brows i'm pretty sure that's some sort of wizardry because the concentration that is required to fill in your brows it requires total and complete silence okay we're going to go in with the um two-faced concealer multi-sculpt concealer in the shade chestnut and I'm just gonna carve out the bottom of my brows. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely having, man, this year. This year can, I've said this before, but this year can burn in flames with Bernadette's husband's belongings. Like, throw the entire year away. It is literally the most stressful year I've ever lived through in my entire life. You've heard about, like, us talk about anything on our platform that's honestly the least of our problems. It's everything else that is, like, more of a problem than it. Not a problem, but stressing me out. a problem. Uh, but stressing me out more than any of the stuff that we've talked about on our platform. Like, there's just... So much stuff going on um, and it's really just stressful you understand like I understand more why your parents are like stay in a child's place and don't be in such a rush to grow up because there's so much that you don't even realize comes with adulthood until until you experience it and you're like man this sucks I'm just I'm just tired and it seems like every day it's something new, it's something different. It's just non-stop. You got knocked up! Like when you are playing a video game and you're getting, like if it's a fighting game and you're getting beat up and the um, whoever it is is just constantly punching you, punching you, punching you and they're just knocking you out and it's like nothing, you're just kind of like against the ropes. That's how I honestly feel about this year. I just feel like I'm on the ropes. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery palette in um, Proof is in the Pudding. And we're gonna try to do um, a look that I pretty much do all of the time. I'm probably also gonna use the Uma Beauty palette in Poise. Okay, I'm gonna add the Juvia's Place palette in the Saharan. This is kind of an older palette, but I think it'll pull off the, the look that I'm going for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna go into Jamila in the Saharan palette. It's this uh, kind of vibrant orange color here, and I'm gonna use that as my first transition shade. I love a bright, uh, warm orange as my first transition shade. And I'm just gonna take that in windshield-like motions, back and forth, kind of lightly buffing this in and building the color up. I'll just use this by Smith Cosmetics. It is the number 235. And I'm going to go into the Uma Beauty palette. I'm going to take the shade Mother. Get that nice and 
pack on my brush and then take that directly into my crease. As I transition closer to my crease, I like to take my, allow my colors to get darker because that's gonna give you the dimension in your eye. So I'm basically taking this right into my crease and building it up. And I'm really packing the color onto my brush. So hopefully you can see how that's kind of blending and darkening as it gets closer to my crease. I'm gonna take one more smaller blending brush like this. This is just kind of a, like a bulleted pencil brush. This is Color Du Jour number 105. I'm gonna take the color Poise, which is this really dark, almost like an ashy brown. And I'm gonna take that just right onto the outer V of my eye and really pack that on. And I almost create like a triangle shape here. And then take that same brush and just blend this out. And then do, doesn't have to be heavy because I'm not gonna do a smoky eye. Same thing over here. Pack the color on in almost like a triangle shape and then blend it out. Two thirds of my eye is blank and then that very outer corner is packed with color and dimension and it just gives your eye, it just starts to create a shape for your eye. And since I'm starting to lose some of that orange at the top, I'm just gonna lightly buff around those edges of that dark brown color. Once that's done, I'm gonna take a flat shader brush like this. This is by Monda, uh, brush number 430. And I'm gonna do some mixing. So any type of bone color, so something like this or something like this works. I like to kind of mix the lighter and the darker shades all together and then create um, just a really nice shade on my eye. So I'm pretty much mixing all of those really light shades because I want this to be light, but I don't want it to look ashy and too bright. So like that's just a little bit too light. So I'm gonna take like a more of a darker brown color just to kind of calm that down. Anything that goes above where I want it to go, I just blend that out. And usually it's the shade in the palette that you're like, what in the world am I gonna do with that? And I just take it and it becomes this color for me. Especially when I'm just kind of, just want something very light and that's it. Um, the hardest part is really just kind of blending the crease out to make sure everything is like really, really soft, especially if you're not doing or you're not into cut crease, which I'm really not, then this is like super, super easy. Very easy. And now we're moving on to foundation. So I'm gonna go in again with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish in the shade Deep 30. You wanna shake that up really, really well. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out. So you're gonna shake that up really, really well since this is a liquid foundation. Sometimes it gets really, really watery and you don't want it to come out too watery on your hand or your palette or whatever you're using. You are three, I'm gonna use the Color Du Jour Brush 122. Just lightly tap my brush in just to get it nice and evenly coated and then just stipple it onto my skin like so. I love this foundation because it's super, super light and it covers, I mean, if you have really um, hyperpigmentation, if you have like really, really dark marks on your skin, you may have to go in and like color correct before because this is a pretty light foundation, um, but it won't make your skin cakey, which is what I like about it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Uma Beauty concealer in the shade T3. Whenever I have hyperpigmentation going on, I would rather use a, a heavier concealer than a foundation and just spot conceal those areas that I have concerns with. And I'm just gonna go over this. I'm going over it with the NARS Creamy Concealer. Concealer from Uma is a little red and I don't want it to be red, so I'm mixing it with the really yellow um, the color is caramel, which on its own is way too light for me, but mixing the two, I think is gonna do what I want it to do. We'll find out together, because I've never done this before. 
Um, I'm just gonna use this small color du jour brush 115. It's almost like a smaller version of this. This foundation is amazing. If you wanna know my favorite foundation, can I zoom in? If you wanna know my favorite foundation, it is this. And this is the reason why you can see just the sheen that's still on my skin. You can see that it's skin like, you can see that it covered, but it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey. Like this is, this is what you want your foundation to be and do. Like this is my favorite. All right, once you have that all squared away, you're gonna set. I'm gonna, again, go in with the Pat McGrath um, Medium 3, basically it's a setting powder. Um, take this brush, this is the Color Du Jour Brush 120, and I'm just gonna set this under my eyes. I'm not really baking, because I'm not gonna put more product than I need, but I am like pressing this into my skin so nothing creases. And I don't put it everywhere, I literally just kind of put it where I put that concealer, I put it on my forehead, down my nose, around my mouth, my chin, and then whatever's left over, I kind of just pat it everywhere else so my skin doesn't look super, super matte. I do like the natural oil of my skin to kind of come through. We're just gonna go back in with the NYX um, liquid liner. This is my favorite, but I did buy one from Rihanna, and I just don't know what I did with it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my brush from Color Du Jour. This is brush number 130. You can go in directly with the felt tip applicator but if you're not good with this this is a good idea to get the liquid liner effect without the mess of their applicator and you can do this however you like i like mine to be a little thinner on the inside sometimes i don't even apply liner out there sometimes in your pursuit of perfection and doing a wing you will mess it up so the lesson there is know when to stop i'm michael jordan stop it get some help brush down. I'm done. We're going to use that same brown pencil that I've been using lately by Pat McGrath called Black Coffee. And once that's done, we're just going to smoke it out. Just going to take a flat shader brush, just lightly buffing out the bottom part. All right, once the bottom lash line is buffed out, I'm just going to take a pencil brush. This is by Morphe the E22. And I'm just going to take Jamila from the uh, Juvia's Place palette. Take a little bit of that and lightly kind of smooth out the edges of that liner. And I also, it just kind of sets it as well. I'm just kind of pressing it, patting it, and buffing it. Taking the Laura Mercier um, Count of Row. This is like a finishing powder. Taking a little bit of that and just adding it I don't even know if this stuff is really necessary, but it's something that I always do. Show you guys up close. This is how the skin and the eyes are looking. And you can see down here, there's still definitely some hyperpigmentation, but I mean, it's skin. This is what skin looks like. Um, and I'm not mad at it. We're gonna use the, um, or I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Blushes. I love these. I know people don't, but I really, really do. Uh, so I'm gonna mix Strawberry Drip with Daiquiri Dip. They're the two. One is more of a pink color, one is more of a coral color. I'm gonna mix these two together. Take two fingers, I apply it to the apples of my cheeks. That may have been too much. And then I just blend it out onto my cheeks and then blend up. I have the Zahar and Blush Palette, number one, excuse me, they're so old, I've had them for a long time. I'm gonna take Zane, which is this really kind of hot pink color, and I'm gonna mix it with Neo. So I have a little bit on the back of my brush, I'm just gonna dust some of that off. Okay, on this side, it made it pretty intense. It looks more intense on camera than it does in real life. Okay, I'm not mad at this. I think this is pretty. I am going to stop though because I'm about to create a mess. Um, so I'm going to stop, but I think this is actually really, really pretty. I actually really like this a lot. This is the Color Du Jour 
uh, brush 116. I'm actually just gonna go right into the Sahara palette again. Uh, we're gonna take the shade Zara, which is this shade up here, and I'm gonna mix it with Lila. Yes, Lila. Just mix the two and just kind of lightly add it right on the high points of my cheeks. This is just a sample mascara. I think this is from Marc Jacobs. Honestly, I don't pay a bunch of money for mascara. It's just not something that I spend money on. Okay, so we're gonna add a red lip. I'm gonna use the ColourPop pencil in the shade Ray. This is from the Karuchi collection. I actually really liked her colored pencils. The colors that she came out with, I thought they were really, really brown girl friendly. And this is one of my favorites. All right, so I'm putting some glue on my lashes. This is the Style Bell by Lady Lashes. And I'm also using her lash glue. I'm gonna let that sit while it's sitting. I'm gonna decide on the lip. All right, this is what we're gonna use because I picked it up. This is the shade Glam Jam by Beauty Bakery. Uh, this is a sample shade. Anytime you wear a red lip, you're always, I always feel like, girl, where are you going? And that's how I feel right now, especially because the answer is I'm going nowhere. I'm trying to get this as opaque as possible. This almost looks pink on camera, but it's a really pretty red. I'm gonna add these lashes. Again, I try to get them close to my lash line, but my goal isn't necessarily to get them on my lash line. And again, you always want your glue to dry as much as possible, which is why I wait. This is the final look that was supposed to be a very soft everyday look, but it kind of ended up being like a glam, like a soft glam. I'm not gonna lie, like this is actually pretty glam. And I think it is the red lip. I think if I would have done a neutral, it would have calmed it down quite a bit more. But the, um, if you wanted to do like an everyday look, you don't have to add the lashes, just add the mascara and put on some lip gloss and that's more of an everyday look. Um, but this is a way to kind of do a soft glam that's like pretty glam. Like this is actually, Pretty, I, I don't even know how I ended up doing all of this. Um, I actually do glam. I actually accidentally do glam more often than I do like a soft everyday look. I'm not quite sure why my hands do what they want to do because this isn't what I was going for, but we're here now, so what are you gonna do? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Listen, give me some ideas in the comment section about other videos you'd like to see me do. I would be more than happy to do them. I am, like I said, trying to do mostly, if not all black brands. It's just kind of the vibe that I'm on. So um, I will be showcasing, you know, my Juvia's Place, my Pat McGrath, my Fenty. I know Fenty is not majority owned by Rihanna. Um, I, I know that, but I, I just, I know that. So take with that information what you will. I still support the brand um, because Rihanna is the face. And honestly, their brand came out. Rihanna obviously has a voice and she's coming out with inclusion shades. She's thinking about the brown girls and, you know, from uh, very deeply, richly melanated all the way to the fair, fair side. And so for that, I'm appreciative. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me know Beauty Bakery. We have the collabs. I'm doing collabs as well because collabs help influencers get more brand deals. And as an influencer, um, and I wanna get brand deals, you have to support those. So collab, I consider collabs to be not black owned, but black collapse so i'll showcase those as well i've minted here we did juvia's place we did uma beauty we did pat mcgrath um color du jour which are the brushes that i'm going to start using as much as possible in my videos um she's black as well and that's it yeah so let me know if you guys like this look i actually really like the way that it turned out wasn't my intent but i do like the way that it turned out thank you guys so much for watching until the next video bye